All right. I'm Nifty Thrifty Girl. We offer vintage sewing machines restored and serviced. And this is a Sears Kenmore model 1730. This is an all metal machine. One amp motor. Very clean cosmetically. Very nice looking machine. It has the typical larger 17 inch bed or deck. So it will have to be installed into a Kenmore <coughs> sorry, case or cabinet or it's tabletop ready as it sits. It has two, four, six, eight, ten built in stitches, which includes both regular and reverse or stretch. Um, adjustable stitch length, adjustable stitch width. This is your reverse button. This chooses between regular and stretch. This is your feed dog drop and power. Of course, bob and winder on the top. It is double needle capable. Every pattern can be sewn with a double needle, even the stretch patterns. Double needle is included. <coughs> Sorry. Standard low shank feet and attachments will work with this machine as well as 15 by 1 needles and class 15 bobbins. This little center plate here is um, you flip it around to do either sh um, straight or zigzag so you don't have to change the whole needle plate if you want to turn that around. This is your buttonhole drive. I do not have a buttonholer to include with this machine right now. Um, but it will use a buttonholer if you can find the correct one. Now this machine is a little different than most. It does use the cams but only the single layer. It does not have two cam following arms so it will not use the double layer cams, the stretch cams. Five cams are included of the regular single layer as well as a box of accessories. Bunches of stuff in there as well as a double needle. Cam goes here. Now to create the stretch patterns that are built into the machine this metal cam has to be in place. As you can see, that's removable. <clears throat> if you want to do the stretch or reverse patterns that are built in, this must be in place. Otherwise, to use one of these single green cams, you take out the metal cam and you add the single green plastic cam. Don't know why they made this model a little different, but it only has one little cam following arm for the single cams. Okay. Um, I'm working on an instruction manual copy for this. Well, a link for a download anyways. Kind of hard to find. I don't have one. But I am working on providing a link for download for the manual. And that will be in the listing once I confirm that. And we'll sew some with it. This is just a basic two-layer fabric. It's a very smooth running machine. Very quiet, and like most most Kenmore's, it has lots of room under the presser foot, which I like because that means you can lift up the foot and get your project under there without trying to force it. That doesn't mean it'll sew that thickly. Thickly is that a word? Anyway, nice zigzag, very consistent stitch. I just love the Kenmore machine. Now, I, I offer lots of machines because you have to have something for everybody, but seriously, Kenmore is the way to go. I, I just totally agree with that. Totally believe that. And <laughs> singers have lots of tension problems, lots of tweaking on the tension. I mean, Kenmores are just so and go. Go and sew. I mean, you never have to adjust hardly anything unless you're going from a thick leather into a very thin satin or a delicate fabric. It's the only time you need to even touch the tension on these machines. It, it, it's just amazing. Now I'm going to flip over and I'm going to do a stretch stitch because my metal cam is in place. And as you see, that metal cam is allowing the machine to do the reverse or stretch stitch.
perfect. Look at that. Isn't that a perfect? That's a beautiful stitch. The back side looks the same as the front side, and that's the way it should be. Actually, I could have tightened, turned up my tension just a hair more. Now I'm going to switch back to regular, and I'm going to sew six layers of denim. I'm using a size 16 needle. Oh, we're going to do zigzag. Okay, well, we'll zigzag between the, on six layers of denim. As you can see, there's no problem with that. <laughs> no hiccup, no hesitation, no bogging. Two layers of garment leather. Of course, if you're going to consistently work on leather or vinyl or another sticky fabric, you might want to invest in a walking foot. Look at that beautiful zigzag on leather. Just amazing. Like I said, I, you know, I, I just... I will take a Kenmore, vintage Kenmore machine over your... Oh, see, that one skipped. It must have burned my needle. bird my needle right there and a bird needle will cause skip stitches. See this one was perfect. Must have bird. But like I said, I will take a vintage Kenmore machine over an eight thousand dollar Bernina any day of the week. Because this machine will see the shop less than your eight thousand dollar Bernina ever. This machine never needs to go to the shop. It really doesn't. Toothbrush and a bottle of oil, you can service this machine yourself, maintain it. This machine never needs to see the shop. It's no, you know, no computer motherboards to go out. I mean, you know, they make these thousands and thousands of dollars sewing machines, and in two years they don't make parts for them anymore, and you got to go buy a new one. And that's the truth. Fourteen layers. Spend two hundred dollars and have a machine that'll last you a lifetime. You know, the only difference is you have to actually interact with your machine instead of just pushing a computer button and letting the machine go on its own. But you know, to each their own, I guess. This is a vintage Kenmore model seventeen thirty.